Welcome to this video which will show you how to connect 32-bit applications to the COM automation interface of the 64-bit MacSurf modules. This tutorial will show how to connect Microsoft Excel 2003 VBA, which is 32-bit, to MacSurf 2113, which is 64-bit. Since version 21, MacSurf has been available as 64-bit executable only. Sometimes you may wish to access the MacSurf COM automation interfaces from a 32-bit application. For example, Microsoft Office 2003 VBA macros. If you try to run a macro and get an error message such as this, then the most likely cause is that the MacSurf Automation Interface Type Library is not properly registered, or the MacSurf Automation Library is not correctly referenced in VBA. The first thing that can be done is to see if the library is listed in the VBA reference dialog. The libraries are named Bentley, followed by the MacSurf module name for example, Bentley Modeler or Bentley Stability. In this case, the libraries are not listed. We need to ensure that the type library is properly registered. Close down Microsoft Excel and start a Windows command prompt. In the command prompt, change directory to the installation directory of MacSurf 21.13. The default location is C colon program files Bentley offshore MacSurf Connect Edition 21.13. Once in this folder, we can list all the executables to see the different MacSurf modules. In this case, we want to register MacSurf stability, but we could equally well register all the MacSurf modules at this point. To do this, type the application name followed by backslash and then reg, R-E-G. So in this case, we have typed MacSurfStability.exe space backslash reg to register stability. Press return and you should get a message indicating that the registration was successful. Press return again to get back to the command prompt. We can now relaunch Microsoft Excel and open the spreadsheet and go back to the VBA editor. We still need to reference the automation library so that it is available to the macros in this spreadsheet. Because Maxer Stability is a 64-bit application, it is not listed in the available references and we have to browse to the location of the application executable and add it manually. First set the file type to .exe, then locate and select the Max Stability executable that we just used to register the type library in the command prompt. You may see this warning dialog appear, but it can be dismissed. Just ensure that the Bentley Stability Automation Library is now displayed and selected in the References dialog, and that the file location is correct. This information is displayed at the bottom of the dialog for the selected library. Click OK, and the macro should now be ready to run. The first short macro simply launches the Maxo Stability application and verifies the version number. We can then open a design, and then run another macro to set and run the analysis, in this case large angle stability. And finally we can run a macro to extract the desired results to populate our spreadsheet. We can now close down Excel 2003, the 32-bit application, and verify that the automation interface works when accessed from the 64-bit version of Excel 365. So we load the same sample spreadsheet and go to the VBA editor. We need to verify that the reference is correct. So now it will be listed because it's a 64-bit VBA accessing 64-bit MaxSurf stability. Just need to make sure it's selected and click OK. We can now run the macros as before and verify the version number. can load a model we can run the stability analysis and then finally run the macro to extract the results if you'd like to find out more about MaxSurf Automation, please watch our on-demand webinar Towards Health Optioneering, Applying MaxSurf Automation, which can be found at the displayed webpage. 
Thank you very much for listening.